Hey guys, what's up? It is your girl Walking on Truth Tarot, and we are back with another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with your girl. And yeah, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button because that will help us out a lot here. And if you would love to book a private reading with me, all of my information is listed down below. And if you would love to join our Patreon community where you can find all of the full readings, that information is listed down below as well. All right. Okay. So... We are doing a reading on Miss Perry Edwards, okay, Miss Soon-to-Be Mommy. We're going to be checking out her current energies, all right. Um, <laughs> we're going to be seeing how, we're going to be checking out her Bay's <laughs> energy, Mr. Alex, all right, on his energies on becoming a full, <laughs> a full dad, yes, a full dad. Um becoming a soccer dad i didn't even know homeboy played football you know what i'm saying that is my sport i love me some soccer you feel me yes like i was saying yes full-blown soccer dad we're gonna be checking out his energies on becoming a first time dad um we're gonna be seeing her energies their energies when it comes to their romance um her career and for all of y'all petty heads that really want to know how Zayn feels about this shit, we're, <laughs> we're most definitely going to get into that. Oh my God. Oh, sweet Jesus. But I can already tell from the energies that I got um, on this. Yeah. She is very happy. She is very happy for these new changes that's evolving in her life like she's always wanted to be a mom but she never knew that she was going to become a mother so soon i honestly think that she didn't feel as if like um it was going to happen the way that it happened but either way she's most definitely happy and she feels blessed that she is having a baby with a man who she feels and trusts wholeheartedly that loves her so let's see. Give me three cards from Miss Perry Edwards. We have regret. We have regret. We have patience here. And I feel, and the reason why I kind of like, because we have honesty at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. In a way, after what happened in her past relationship, she was single for a minute. And this person that she's with now, Alex, they were set up. They were set up through a mutual friend. Okay? Me, I think it was Miss Leanne who set them up. Because why does Alex and Leanne's man Andre they dead ass could be brothers I swear to you they dead ass could be brothers and correct me if I'm wrong but don't they play for the same football team oh <laughs> but I feel as if like she there was a sense of regret when it came to their relationship and having a baby in the way that um they had they're having a baby because she didn't want to be played as a she wouldn't she did not want to be played or seen as a fool just in case like the situation between her and Alex was wasn't as serious as she thought it was going to, she thought it is but it most definitely is I really do feel like he has a lot of love for her and the energy goes mutual both ways and with this patience card here I feel as if like a lot of patience um she had to be a very patient with him because i feel as if in the beginning of their relationship she was just another one there was 
he was most definitely still dating and the seriousness for the for their union was not there when it came to his end so she really had to be patient with the situation especially now that she's pregnant she doesn't want to just you know think of the worst um and think of him in the worst possible ways that you know he's out here i'm pregnant and he's out here doing what he's not supposed to do because you know i'm i'm, I'm just saying sometimes not all men but some men you know when when <laughs> when their lady is pregnant they feel as if like you know that just gives them the the green light to go out there and live their single life and as long as they're giving you what you're asking for when they're in your face and keeping you happy that's everything is going to be all gravy until you find out about some shit so she's just taking this entire situation day by day and I mean, what more can she really do? I feel like she's very scared. She's happy, but she's very scared to become a mother. We have freedom. We were just talking about freedom. Look, you know, even though we're quote unquote together, <laughs> when, we're, when you're not in my face, you're doing some sucker shit. So we have freedom here. Freedom when it comes to when it comes to her being able to live her life the way that she actually wants to. Like, she's no longer tied up in little mix. She's no longer tied up in that black magic, in that little mix, okay? <laughs> Yo, I'm doing a reading for Leanne as well, right after the, I finish this one. And with both of them, the song, Black Magic, Black, it's called Black Magic. Yeah, for, and, I'll keep that for um for Leanne's reading because her man ain't fucking with this shit. I'm just telling y'all right now. Her man feel like this entire situation on how she got pregnant, all of this is high key sus. Okay, sus spect. So she, with, when it comes to Perry though, in her freedom, she most definitely feels freer than she has been since she stepped into the limelight with Little Mix, right? And also. This was kind of crazy to me, but she feels as if her being becoming pregnant, this was her way out of the industry. This was her way out of Little Mix. Don't be shocked if we don't hear nothing from Little Mix for a few years. Don't be shocked because Miss Miss Leanne and Miss Perry, they are not rushing to go back to that shit. They're not. I'm telling you they're not. We have humor. Okay? We have humor. I choose to focus on the latter sides of life. Exactly. Exactly. Don't be shocked. Because she wanted she wanted a way out for a minute. I don't feel as if Perry was really happy being as famous as she was or as she is. But there's something about that contract, though, because Peep Game, what's her name? What's her name? Jade? She had, she had to claim, she had to claim um, mental, mental, mental health to get out of that bitch, okay? And now these two twins, the Wonder Twins, the best friends, Leanne and, and Perry are the closest. It's Leanne and Perry. Leanne, she she has a Perry's just like look when it comes to when it comes to Jade and that other one, if we gotta be around each other, we'll be around each other. But Leanne already know what's up. She's not gonna willingly have them all together like that. Leanne and Perry, they are best friends. But I feel as if like even with like COVID and 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 all of this, they have gotten um all four of them. They all have gotten closer now that the whole little mix situation is no longer a factor. It kind of let them all step back to really get to know one another again the right way. You know what I mean? So that's that's pretty good. Clarify regret and patience. <laughs> I told you regrets in the relationship. She does not want to regret this relationship because this is another public situation. She does not want to end up with pie face. 
all right if you're reading this it's too late shout out to champagne poppy if you're reading this it's too late bruh Houston we have a problem the problem is that she got pregnant oh Houston we have a problem the other man or woman oh we have police policing a situation policing that dick making sure that dick ain't coming home smelling like fish oh I told wasn't I telling y'all this at the beginning sometimes when you're dealing with crazy dudes that even that that take you take the situation of you being pregnant as the as the initiative to you know go and do what they want to do uh 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 clarify freedom freedom is clarified by anxiety anxiety She's free from all the anxieties and stress, the pressures of being in Little Mix. We have the round and round. Also, anxieties all for press. We have we have the anxiety all for press. Yeah, all for press. You having to be around people that you really don't really you really don't fuck with like that. You really don't fuck with and you have to fake it till you make it. You have to fake it till you make it. Because if, if y'all not making no money together, nobody's making any money. But that's another thing, too. Now that she's out of Little Mix, this is giving her the chance and the opportunity to do, to work on different um, endeavors by herself and make some coins by herself. Give me a third card financial stress we were just talking about money because you know what now that she's not in the mix with little mix she has to go and do other things to make sure that she takes care of this financial stress because they're not making no music two of them having babies one's tapping out because of because of um mental health issues and then the other one i don't know what's going on with the other one the other one what's going on with her <laughs> Clarify humor. Commit. More than one commitment. More than one commitment. We have single on the bottom of the deck. More than one commitment. <laughs> Someone needs to commit. Someone needs to stop acting like they single when they not single, Alex. Like, it's crazy. We know you. he loves her. He really does love her. But I feel as if, like, their relationship went from being, you know, just in that honeymoon stage. It went fast. Everything is happening very fast. Very fast. And he's not the only one that feels it because Perry doesn't want to regret this entire situation. She doesn't want to, she doesn't want to, she doesn't want to have a baby with someone that she's not going to stay with. That's not going to commit to her. But she needs, she, she needs to take it easy though. Because I feel as if like she has, she has her hands in a lot of different um, um, projects and pots. But she's pregnant, but she just needs to take her time with it and make sure that she is still you know taking care of herself find um choosing to see the lighter side of things you know having more laughs just have a laugh just chill out chill out chill out love let's have a laugh and chill out like you can't raise a man at the end of the day you can't raise a man even though you have his baby. A boy is still going to be a boy, okay? No matter if they 26 or if they 56. If they don't want to change for you, boo, a baby ain't going to change them, all right? If they can't commit to you before the baby, a baby is most definitely not going to make them commit to you. Oh, that's even going to make shit worse. All right, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to continue this reading over on Patreon. If you're interested in viewing the entire reading, um, the information for the Patreon is down below in the description box. Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.